Hello world. In this video, I'm gonna start making Flappy Bird in a console window. Let's go. I'm really bad at making intros. Just a quick warning, I'm not a professional programmer, so don't expect me to write something professional. Capish? Now let's begin. Ok, first of all, let's create a new solution. Flappy Bird? Nah. Flappy Gangster. Ok, let's write a hello world program, just to make sure nothing's changed and the earth still rotates around the sun. It does. Cool. Now we just need to change the window size. I'm gonna change it to 180 by 320. Um, I think it's not working. The reason is this. This is my screen, and this is the console window. Ok, you see this rectangle? We need to make it smaller. So after some googling, I came up with this. Let's test it. Ok, it works. So now, each character represents a pixel. And we just need to change their color. The standard Windows console allows us to use 16 colors. But we can use more than that. Just watch. Each character in a console window has a background and foreground color. If we use this character, we can mix two colors to make a brand new color. There are 256 different combinations. But we all know that A plus B equals B plus A. And this leads us to 136 unique colors. We're also gonna use one additional color to represent transparency. Understood? Ok, let's actually draw something. I'm gonna do it manually, cause I don't have time to write a program for that. So, time lapse. Ok, I think it's ready. Drum roll please. And it doesn't work. Ok, now it should work. It doesn't look exactly like the original but it's close enough. Ok, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, blah blah blah. Penguin.